probably about two and a half, three years ago. I'm sitting, I put Jonah to bed and Tom was in bed and he had just finished school and there I sat in front of my computer and I just knew. So I was kind of researching, I'm like, what am I going to do with my life? I don't know. I know that I'm passionate about people and I love people and um, I know I was meant here to work with them, but I just, I don't under, I don't know how I don't know this by 30 years old what I'm supposed to be doing. So I really, really prayed on it. Different than I'd ever prayed before. This very empty, kind of just lonely place. And I went to bed and I know that you've talked many times in your sermons about how God does things on his own time, but I literally woke up the next morning with peace and clarity, and I looked at Tom and I go, I know what I'm doing with my life. I am meant to work in social work. And it was basically that day that I gave up the control, and I said that it's yours. You need to drive my life, and I will let you. I will let you. I won't fight you. Um, I'll let you do it. And... Um, it's over the past two and a half years of my life, and I'm not going to lie, when you are a control freak, you don't just instantly, <laughs> completely let go. I mean, I catch myself all the time going, okay, you're doing it again. You're putting him in the back seat and trying to take the wheel again. And so I remind myself all the time, I'm like, you, you take it, and I'll trust you. I'll trust that you know best for me. And he does. Literally, the second I walk into that advocacy center, and that's how it was from day one, I prayed and I said... I know I, I know that I cannot do this with you not driving this experience because this subject matter is way too hard, these lives are way too broken, and I'm going to be an emotional mess. But what happens when I show up there, and the only way I know how to explain it, it's, it's him driving. And um, this might sound odd to you, but some complete sense of peace takes over. I will literally kind of meditate a little bit and I imagine this literally this yellow light inside myself and so the second I start to feel that I'm going to fall apart because I can't there that's not I can't do that with the kids and I know that but I'm completely unlike myself in terms of as you see I'm so emotional and I just am able to be effective there and to love them completely and to help them and realize that I'm helping bring them to to this place of healing in their journey, but I know it's not me. I mean, literally, something takes over inside me. I can feel it take over, and the second I walk out, I sit in my car and go back to me and cry <laughs> over everything I saw and things I experienced, but um, no clearer message than that, that you should be doing this, and that um, he has his thumb on me and my family. I know that, and I know I'm where I should be.